So a really cool little flavor text message has popped up here. Rumors of a traitor working within the besiegers has eroded the morale of the defenders of Umurain tribe. So in this siege, someone among our defenders spread the rumor that there was someone helping the attackers, which reduced their morale. I just like this. This is, this is the stuff that makes this game really immersive while looking like it does. I know it looks kind of like feet, but this is a game that inspires fantasy, that inspires your own imagination to go into overdrive. So we're going to keep antagonizing her with creating wars that we are expecting her to fight then, with basically anyone we can find at this point. We might even have him become our tributary, because why not? Well, because he's allied with us, but apart from that, why shouldn't he be our tributary? Now, we're already d almost done, and the enemy has returned. The cool thing is, we're just going to go home and let our ally win this for us. Because they have their orders, they're going to take care of it. We can already keep our troops back in reserve. So... They have siege, they have looted. They have been victorious. A son hasn't died. <laughs> um, so yeah. Let our ally win this war. We don't have to do anything anymore. We can just sit and wait for it to be done. While our troops replenish as his troops or the her troops, still have their issue. So we're going to tell him or her to siege now, instead of hunt armies, because the 200 left are not going to be an issue. They, they might be able to re-siege this, but not before she besieges this successfully. So we're going to be at 100% before anything really happens. We can have a look here. It's almost done, and that should push us to 100. No, it doesn't. So, I have to revise my little order here and send her off. Kicking some serious British behinds up in the north. Do you think Queen Finneart? So now I believe all his troops have been basically routed. No one wants to fight for him anymore. So we don't want him or we don't need him really. We're just going to do this to antagonize her and to help maybe deplete her troops. Of course, there is some bonus in, in it for her because her commanders do gain experience from this. So she might come out a little bit better, but her commanders might just as well die. So there's all of that to consider. An acquaintance of ours died. Nothing to write home about. All right, almost done. Oh, my half-sister. Let's accept this. Good, we have now the prestige, I believe, from that marriage that we just accepted. So we could release her, but we're not gonna. We're not done with using her to our advantage. She will hate us so hard once all this is over. But that is fine. We can live with it. So of course this is taking longer than when we would do it ourselves, but we don't really care. Ooh. We need more prestige still. Right, there we go. And now the next big boy over across the pond. And this time, Actually, who are you? Petty Kingdom of Penteur. Ugh, who cares? So let us extort some tribute. And this time, we're just going to send her. We're not even going to raise our troops. And she is going to accept. Or not. Either outcome is fine by us. 
We don't really care. And of course we're going to raise our troops. And fight ourselves a bit. Though we have to go the long way because we don't want to ruin this little revolt. Whatever they're fighting for. Ah yes, I should unpause. Oh! Yeah, no, that was just the war ending over there. That's why we lost sight of things. Of course! Of course she does. So, as before, she gets to go fight them. Maybe die. And if you look at her, oh, she still likes us. There's the enemy, crossing. They're actually being beaten by the rebel army. The uprising, <laughs> sitting here. They're just sitting there waiting for her to go over. Oh no, they survived, but barely. So you see, tribes have a huge, huge advantage. It will change a little bit, because heavy infantry is quite the formidable foe. As you saw, they were sort of losing, but then they did turn the tide of battle quite quickly, I must say. And since she's not going to do her job, we might have to go do her job. Now let's go do her job. Uh, shame. Oh, now she, now she goes. Now she goes. I swear, if you're just following me around, Missy. No, she's not. Good. So our son is commanding some troops. Everyone is commanding some troops. We have lost the siege. It's all due to her. You're neglecting your duty. But let's actually watch this battle here. If we can. Not entirely sure if we can. No, we can't. But since there's such an overwhelming troops of, uh, amount of troops fighting him, the heavy infantry doesn't do much. But just look at this. Actually, I'm wrong. They almost beat her. So heavy infantry is very strong in itself. All right, we have lost a chap. Uh, a chancellor. Someone interesting to put here? No, just the guy who hates us. We don't want to put our commanders in this because then they can't command anything anymore. So uh, we're going to put in this bishop who sort of likes us, just not enough yet. Now he likes us enough. Let's have him train some troops at home. And you're done with this. So we'll just <laughs> we'll just continue creating claims over here. Everyone else will just keep vassalizing, or rather, turning them into tributaries. Ooh, we have technology here. I did not. All right. So more military or organization gives us more morale, more retinues. That is really good. We could go for more light infantry, but it doesn't really make much sense currently. Actually, we have two. two points where we can do something. We could get more piety, which again for, well, my majesty, I'm sorry, for a uh, tribal ruler is not terrible. Not terrible at all. But legalism is going to be interesting for a... Feudal Lord. So it's noble customs. Eh. We're just going to leave it and get Majesty once it unlocks, probably. So we're going to keep sieging here a little bit as she continues chasing down troops. This truce is expiring quick. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Now, I'm a lunatic. So
So, my horse has always struck me as being of the dependable sort. A quality, you I feel, is sorely lacking in my counselors. Time to shake things up a bit. I will appoint him as my new chancellor. So we appoint Glitterhoof as the new chancellor. And if we look at our council, which interestingly enough, <laughs> you can't see this, but okay. So our, wait, 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 wait. Our horse is now a chancellor. But if you look at this, everyone loves us. So I just got an achievement for my whole, whole council having a 100 opinion of me. So this, this is amazing. This is just amazing. He's not really good at diplomacy. He's a horse. But that's fine. Uh, we'll have him perform statecraft for us. <laughs> right, uh, we're not going to torture someone. Ah, oh, this, is, this is lovely. This is really good. I enjoy this. And on poles, of course. My trusty and loyal steed Glitterhoof is likely to be the target of all manner of malicious attacks by my enemies to destabilize my rule. I could have Smith forge her a set of armor to aid protecting my most precious companion. Well, wow! Lose three, 200 gold and gain 300 prestige. Okay, we can, we can get some prestige here for a little bit of gold. That is really good. Let's get the prestige that we need. A strong set of armor will keep her safe. <laughs> so we have taken care of that, which I don't believe goes into our treasury. That would be really cool. All right, again, watch this. Superior numbers, but still the morale damage that heavy infantry deals to light infantry is not to be underestimated. Not at all. She started out with 2,500 troops at the beginning of this war and was decimated down to 1,800. So we are getting what we like, what we want out of this. We also go ahead and tell our ally, hey, could you maybe take this back, please? Which we're going to do as well. Because what's he gonna do? She will retake this for us. Ooh, another alliance has broken down. We don't need alliances down here. We just get a whole load of tributaries. This is a very fun mechanic, I must say. I've not ever... Uh, played this this way. Quite honest. So he's... Mucking about, walking in circles, trying to be sneaky. We can't do anything, at least not much. Right, so you have done your duty over here. Go back to hunting him, because I can't be bothered. Right, I feel rumors are afoot about me because I'm still paranoid and a bit of a lunatic. Look at this. Look at all these people playing, uh, giving homage. <laughs> now the merry-go-round begins. Let's check her military status. She could have a few more troops, but... She's well decimated. Alright. My daughter seems to be an explorer. Let's let her become shrewd. Shrewd is really amazing. Girls will be girls. My genius granddaughter. What shall you be? Let her become good at intrigue. Because why not? Could be interesting. Right, okay, there's battle now. Let's let's watch this again. Okay, this time it's not going too well for him. 
is at a disadvantage as it is. So my daughter... Let's have her be ambitious. Oh no, we don't want a rival. Let's have her be... Patient, and we'll lose a little bit over it. But that's fine. She must make her own choices. Let's check. Who can we get? The King of West Frank, yeah. Eh. It's not bad. It doesn't help us much. So let's have her... Get this petty King of Posts. We'll make a few more alliances here, since our daughters are apparently freed up again. Well, at least this one is. And I also never really realized that it's sensible to not call in your allies on absolutely every single war that you want to fight, because this way you can, uh, can cycle through them and offset the negative opinion they're going to have from being called into war by just dividing up the, the work that you require them to do. I should probably take some of his own holdings. Look at who we could call in, Jesus. We could call in everyone. Armies upon armies. And what are these two fighting over? The House of Ulster is trying to take something here. Oh, we lost another alliance down in the south. Shame. She's pretty. You don't want to lose alliances with pretty ladies. Are you starting to dislike us finally? No. But she's severely injured because she is... ...leading her own troops. At which she isn't all that bad at either. She's brave and ambitious. She's well-groomed. She's a great one. Great woman. It's going to be a shame to destroy her realm. Now we have worked up quite a bit of prestige. So let's use it as well. There we go. We'll have enough prestige to release her soon enough. And she has just taken this piece as well. Oh no! I have never had this happen. This is so cool. I'm starting to think Litoof might fancy me. <laughs> Let's make a move on Glitterhoof. <laughs> Gave her a good tumble, it's good to be the king. <laughs> oh boy. This game. Or rather this world. This world. is amazing. The stories this game writes for you. It's just wonderful. So this is clearly going well. We're winning this. No trouble, no issue. Might even look into more red news, honestly. Let's have some more because we can 100 definitely percent afford it. My wife, Lansundia, 
Just ask me if I'm having an affair with Glitter Hoof. <laughs> Her stony expression does not reveal whether she knows or is only guessing. We can't... We can't break up with Glitter Hoof. <laughs> Let's lie to her and see what she does about it. Is she going to do about it? Nothing I tell you. Right, so the betrothed, betrothed here can marry. What are we going to have done? Okay, so we lose the trait zealous. It's fine. Also, we have reached an age at which death comes ever closer. So, since everyone is our friend who needs to be our friend, well, except this is my son and my son, these are not my friends. Let's go carousing one last time. Oh, we can't because we're at war. Once we're done with war, let's go carousing one last time and then we're going to switch our focus to something that increases our health. Which is something we need in late age. And it's kind of funny because the best thing that you can pick up is hunting in old age. Which generally I do. Because hunting has a chance to bestow you a hunting dog. Which further increases your health for another 10 to 16 years. So as an old hunter... You gain some resilience. Could of course also focus on family for example. My daughter has become a charismatic negotiator. Very well. Intricate web weaver. They have all turned out quite well. So despite her fighting all my battles, her war contribution is still not what it could be. Alright, again, we're done here. We're going to return our troops to have a rest while she keeps doing her duty on toward her king. Let's see, how is this progressing? Well enough. Should be done before they can oppose an actual threat to one of my holdings here. Oh no, actually she had to abandon her siege, but, you know. Right, let's stand on our troops, combine the troops that are there, check what titles we got, a court tutor is needed, and a commander as well. Where's our Jew? Which I know sounds wrong, but... Oh, let's have him be our court tutor as well. He's, he's good, he's fairly good. This guy. No, he's not the guy I'm thinking of. <laughs> right. Let's have him be a commander. He's going to be absolutely great, I'm sure. You can command these, my friend. Right in charge of my personal retinue. Ain't that an honor? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> 